Hey everyone, Jose Villablanca here, and today I'm going to show you how to put a complete program together. Now this is specifically for beginners, so that means someone who's never lifted weights before or someone who hasn't really strength trained consistently. How you want to start out is by building a full body workout routine. So we typically try to do um, different movements. As you, can, as you can see, if you look at an anatomy picture of a human body, uh, muscles are continuous. So you don't want to work them out like biceps, where the biceps end, you know, the forearm muscles start, and, and vice versa if you're going up, where the shoulder starts, and, and then it goes to the chest. So it's a continuous flow of fibers of muscles. So what you want to do is build a program together based on movement, not muscle. And there are typically six movements that we want to work on. One of them is a squat or knee dominant movement, okay? Another is a deadlift or a bend or a hip dominant exercise movement, all right? So that's a deadlift there. Another would be a push. So there are two kinds of pushes that we can do, a horizontal push and a vertical push. The next would be a pull, so a horizontal pull and a vertical pull. So that could be a pull up or a pull down. And uh, last two would be the core, so that's uh, rotation, so crunches, or anti-rotation, which are like planks, three-point planks, which I can show you as well. And lastly would be gait movement, so that would be lunges, or anything going up the stairs as well, down, all right? So lunges, there. And that's it. So now I'm gonna show you about two exercises for each movement that you can try on your own. This is the knee dominant exercise. So it's for the lower body, working most of your thighs, the front of the thighs, so that's the quads. Again, knee dominant. Now we're gonna do the hip dominant exercise. So now this is for the back part of your lower body. So this works your, your butt, your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back. Again, it's hip dominant, so you're still bending from the knees, but most of the bending is from the hips. So this is a bend movement. Okay. 